The optical generator of Pavel Imres is particularly interesting. Pavel was awarded US patent 3781601 in the closing days of 1973, which is a long time ago now. The patent is most interesting in that it describes a device which can have an output power which is more than nine times greater than the input power. He achieves this with a device which is two pointed electrodes enclosed in a quartz, quartz glass envelope which contains xenon gas under pressure and a dielectric material. The higher the pressure, the greater the power gain of the device. The device is very simple and as shown in this diagram here, the uh, area of most interest is the area shown and marked 24 and 25. The power which would normally be used to supply a single fluorescent lamp is passed through the device to power up to nine standard 40 watt fluorescent lamps. This is a power gain which is spectacular when the gas pressure in the area marked 24 and 25 in the above diagram is high. The patent is attached to the end of this document and it contains the fol following table of experimental measurements. Table 1 shows the data to be obtained relating to the optical electrostatic generator. Table 2 shows the lamp performance and efficiency for each of the tests shown in Table 1. The following is a description of the data in each of the columns of Tables 1 and 2. In Column B is the gas used in the discharge tube. In column C, the gas pressure in, tube, in the tube. In column D, the field strength across the tube. In current E, the current density. In column F, the current. In column G, the power across the tube. In column H, the voltage per lamp. In column K, the current measured in amps. In column L, resistance in ohms, and column M, the input power per lamp in watts, and in finally in column N, the light output measured in lumens. So table one shows a lot of interesting information on this system. You have two dozen tests um, numbered obviously 1 to 24. You have the type of discharge lamp, the gas inside it, the pressure of xenon inside the tube, the field strength across the lamp, the current density, current and power across the lamp. And you will notice that the uh, general operation is very impressive. When you have um, the first test and the second test, you're talking about very few watts per centimeter. Second test is 2.14 watts. But that value increases with the tests as the uh, voltage is increased across the tube. And when the voltage has got to a large 179 volts, the watts across the tube is 32.56. Now that's interesting in its own right, but the cutting point is obviously the performance as far as light output is concerned. The uh, interesting part is the input energy in watts and the light output in lumens from each lamp and you've got 3200 lumens for each of the lamps uh, in the entire test. The thing that goes with that then is the voltage being applied. 
and the voltage starts off with 220 volts and that's 40 watts of energy going into the tube to give 3200 lumen coming out as the voltage is decreased with the number of tubes being put across it you eventually get down to far only 5 volts being applied across the tube and you're still getting 3200 lumens the results from test 24 where the gas pressure is a very high 5000 torr shows that the input power for each 40 watt standard fluorescent tube is only 0.9 watts to give the full lamp light output in other words each lamp is working to its full specification on less than one fortieth of its rated input power however the power taken by the device in that test was 333.4 watts which with the 90 watts needed to run the 100 lamps gives a total input electrical power of 423.4 watts instead of the 4000 watts which would have been needed without the device that's an output power of more than nine times the input power from the point of view of any individual lamp without using this device it requires 40 watts of electrical input power to give 8.8 .8 watts of light output which is an efficiency of about 22 percent the rest of the input power being converted to heat in test 24 the input power per lamp is 0.9 watts for the 8.8 .8 watts of light produced which is a lamp efficiency of more than 900 percent the lamp used to need 40 watts of input power to perform correctly uh, is operating on only 0.9 watts of power which is very impressive with this device in the circuit each lamp only needs 0.9 watts input power which is only 2.25 percent of the original power that the lamp was designed for this is definitely an impressive performance for so simple a device the actual patent that was granted to Pavel is connected uh, underneath this uh, document here and if you download it from the download link you will get the entire information shown in that particular patent the patent has got a fair amount of text and large and clear diagrams which explain what's happening in the actual operation